I thought we'd go straight into another word problem. Cleef. Cleef. Cleef is climbing down a cliff. The table shows the function relating his height above the bottom of the cliff in the time that he has been climbing down. All right, so what does the, um, I'll start with X intercept. What is the X intercept, Mikhail? And what does seven zero represent? Lots of words, really definitive, clear words. Tyler, you want to take that? What does the X intercept represent? Okay. The time it takes to reach the bottom of the glass. Yeah, like, are you talking about the problem or are you talking about something else? Oh, okay, okay. I do want to talk about like like taking the time and getting the wording right like on the EOC on the SAT these um if these are word problems so we kind of got kind of in the rest of them and we'll leave that there. What are the words that represent the Y intercept? Alicia, you want to do that? Yeah. Starting height. Yeah. When you say at that particular moment, they're going to say, well, that could be anywhere on the line. You, yeah. Which moment are you referring to? Because the intercept is one specific exact moment. Can you read this word height? Okay. I'm going to grab the function. Um, did you title it and label it? Wait a minute. They're giving us nothing? So how are we going to go? Did you graph it yet? What did you do? Did you go by twos? You go On the y-axis, did you go by two, four, six, five. what? Fives? I'm going to go by fours. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-six. Here I'm gonna go by ones. Is that okay? It is. You can do your x and y different. You go ahead and do that. I went by fours here and ones here. Why did I go to three though? I was just thinking about his last hike. Did he go as quick as key? Good job, Keith. Graph, include a title. How do you explain this? I'm not explaining anything. What would you title? Um, what you title your graph, Georgia? What you title your graph? Let's do some, like a nice fancy English word. What about descent? descent was descent think? in the airplane problem? Yeah. Oh, I can't descent. take credit for that. I thought that was like yeah. Yeah. Descent. I copied and pasted it in my mind. 
Oh, the descendants. So descent. Descent of Cliff? Cliff's descent? Keith's descent is how I want to name mine. Sorry, erase. And um, how did you label your x-axis, Lauren? How'd you label the x-axis? I'm taking the time to do this because on your um, next quiz and test, I'm gonna mark off if you don't label. The height's on the y. That's the height of the cliff, and I'm going to show that it's in feet. Oh my gosh, it's time to go. So what I want you to do, um, I'm going to